A man is pretty shaken up tonight after he says someone started firing a gun at him while he was driving in Renton. And his luxury car has the bullet holes to show for it. Now, he wants to get the word out to get the armed man off the streets. Dave Wagner is at the live desk right now. And Dave, he's okay. The car is not. That's right. Uh, two bullet holes went through his car. Luckily, Ishwinder Singh and his passenger were not injured in the Sunday night shooting. But there is major damage after someone walked up in front of his car and began shooting at him. I was in shock. Like, literally, someone is shooting and uh, I, I really don't remember anything. Eastwinder Singh was out with a friend riding in his new Bentley he just purchased a week ago. Suddenly there is a guy, he just came out of nowhere. Singh thought he spotted a jaywalker, so he quickly slowed down to let the man pass in front of his car near Lind Avenue and 16th Street in Renton. I saw the guy, there was like he was wearing a black hoodie and uh, he was just, you know, walking normally and suddenly he just pointed a gun and started shooting on us. Bullet holes now in the luxury automobile. Part of the windshield shattered. Singh immediately started driving away at full speed. I took a wrong turn to, you know, hide myself. So that is the way how I survived. Otherwise, you know, I would have been killed. Singh says he doesn't have any enemies and doesn't know what provoked the attack. He was not able to give police a good description of the suspect, but hopes that surveillance cameras on a nearby warehouse will help catch him. I went by myself yesterday to that warehouse. They have plenty of cameras. So I think so. it's going to be easy to find the, find the guy. Okay. Pretty terrifying moments there. Police responded to the shooting after Singh safely pulled over and called 911. Detectives are checking with those nearby businesses, and they're looking to see if there is any surveillance video that would be of any value. They ask anybody who might know anything about this to call the Renton Police Department. At the live desk, Dave Wagner, Cairo 7 News.